Hey guys, all right. Well, some good news, great news, and some more even amazing news. So, just want to let you know. Oh, we're a little, we're a little dirty here. Hang on. There, that's a little better. Now we're a little cleaner. Okay, so we need to start establishing some framework here. Um, I've just got situated in a secure location. Um, we're all good to go on my end. We're getting everybody ready to go. So where we can leapfrog out from where we're at. Guys, I can't get over how friggin' amazing this is. The police last night, we've got videos of it. The police were carrying hot food in to the, to the truck drivers. So to the Ottawa Police Services, Durham Police Services, London Police Services, Toronto Police Services, to all the police services that are out to help, thank you so much. You know, you guys did an amazing job last night. And you showed some real good compassion. For, for these guys that are here. Understand we are exercising our right to a peaceful protest and we are peaceful. Mr. Fancy Socks, you just went ahead and uh, you just went ahead and tried to uh, say that we're some fringe minority group. You're so wrong. This is an absolute nationwide, nationwide movement and global. So don't for one second think that you can treat us like we're some small little minority group. You also said you were out there to support protesters. You were out there to support BLM and movements that were riots, that were aggravated assaults, that were attacks on elderly people, that were all paid by open societies by one other, no other than Mr. Soros. You know this. You took a knee, but you won't stand with the hardworking people here in Canada. You won't stand with the blue collar workers that keep this economy running. So you're going to tell me that you'd rather have a paid, paid, agitating group like Antifa and BLM that are only in there for a political campaign to support them. But when you see hard work and everyday Canadian citizens who just want to go to work, who just want to make sure that their family's fed and make sure they have a roof over their head, and you're going to sit there and tell us you support this. Or you don't support this. You're absolutely... It, you're an idiot, okay? You're an idiot. The people that you need to be behind and backing are these blue-collared workers, are these hard-working Canadians that put food on their table for their families, that provide for everybody, and their taxes are paid. So these people should get some recognition. But no, you want to say you're somewhere else because you don't, you don't want to support a fringe group. You're so ridiculously retarded. And for those people out there that are believing CNN and trying to get CNN, to, or not CNN, CBC. Sorry guys, we're just doing some, some adjusting here. We're just getting a command center all set up. Hang on, hang on, you're taking the table. Hey, you're taking the table, bro. <laughs> okay. We got a lot of stuff going on right now. We got snow plows, we got movers, we got shakers, we got bakers, we've got everything and anything going on right now that could be happening. That being said, everybody's everybody's working together. Okay? If Trudeau wants to sit there and say what he wants to say, let him. He looks more stupid every minute that he lets his mouth flap. Yep. And when do you know a politician is lying? He's gone. Wow, and then they just froze me and jammed me. These cutters right there, white and red. White and red. White and red with that thing under. And as soon as they went over, it was jammed. Serious? Yep, serious. Okay, it's those guys blocking the Wi Fi and they. Okay. Wait a minute. Wow. Didn't take them long, eh? Anyways, that's enough I'm going to say right now. Yeah, just know right that, that's right okay yeah. so right now we're just getting established on this and now we're going to establish link ups with each truck group so you got a truck group here you got a truck group here in between streets people are delegated to be those those uh liaisons between those guys to get fuel food and showers ladies and gentlemen once again i have two showers available room uh address is 402 queen street and the rooms are available. The front desk guys know. I want to give a shout out to the Holiday Inn. 
the Holiday Inn in Ottawa, downtown, 402 Queen Street. You guys are the bomb. You guys have tolerated everybody there. We've controlled that room, that area, very peacefully. We've held that ground for this whole time, and we have worked with you guys side by side. Thank you so much to the Holiday Inn. Ladies and gentlemen, I want everybody to go to the Holiday Inn at 402 Queen Street, type in the Google Internet button machine, and send them all the love that you can. Those guys did phenomenal. They have done the most phenomenal work I have ever seen anybody do in my life. They worked hard, they've provided, and they're oversta understaffed and overbooked. So good job to them. I think so. Is that one too many yet, George, or what? No, because we can put mattresses here and there too, right? So, okay. Yeah, we got people coming. We got two cars. We're good. <laughs> okay. Coffee table for the one room there. Cool, okay. Right on. Right on. Right on. This is all coming together like friggin' clockwork, guys. We've got two command centers that are already established in Ottawa for the guys up in uh, in uh, the big rooms for the convoy guys. Our guys, we're getting to you, we're getting food to you, we're getting fuel to you, we're getting everybody situated right now as we speak. I gotta run from this center where I'm at right now in an undisclosed location for now so that we can establish everything we've got here. Once we've got it established here, then we can start doing recons and moves. We moved in 80 trucks last night in the middle of the night. It was so cool. We get out to the Sir John A. McDonald. And we start knocking on trucks to get people awake. We're knocking on them. All of a sudden, the fog rolls in off the Ottawa River. Fog rolls in, and it's right foggy. And we just move them all so quiet away from the police. Move them off slowly, slowly, slowly. And then we got them lined up down the end, and we just rolled like turtle pace all the way down to the highway. No jake brakes, no big burps on the engine, no horns, no nothing. And then we got to the 417. And we crept along the 417. And then we got to Kent Street and went, whoo, 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 and we jammed up Kent Street. It's an amazing thing, guys. This is so much fun. I'm not kidding. I'm having the time of my life. I have never thought that something like this would be fun, peaceful, enjoyable, and actually almost comical. So <laughs> I can't stop laughing because it's so awesome. There are still trucks that are blocked, yes, but we are getting them in. To the guys out and to the other uh, that are at the farm, there's 2,000 pounds worth of food that have been brought. There's people making meals. Anybody that's in between the Queen end and the other end by Wellington and Elgin, go to 302 Coventry Street. 302 Coventry Street. There's a base camp established. I will be heading there within the next couple hours. I'm gonna to go to base camp and we'll establish what needs to be done at base camp. Right now, we're just getting everybody coordinated to where they need to be uh, uh, in their established areas. That being said, I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna get things going. I gotta get people parked in here. I gotta get I gotta get this place secured down. So that being said, have a good day. Guys, I'll be back on later this afternoon uh, and we'll roll this like a well-oiled machine that it is. Great job, everybody out there. Hold the lines, hold your spots, hold where you're going, what you're doing, and just have fun. Just have fun, man. Be peaceful. Don't forget, horns every half hour for 10 minutes. On the, on the, on the bottom half of the hour, on the top half of the hour, 10 minutes. Let them go. Hold them hard, guys. Love yous. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.